sauce. Oh, yeah. Let's get sauce. Okay, Jay Stevens, how you feeling over I'm there, I'm feeling bro? good, man. I'm excited for our next topic. Yes. I like food. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, he does. Do. I like food. Yeah, we had this topic. We actually had it for another episode, and we've just kind of switched some things around, and we're going to fit it in today for you. Yeah. This one's called Weird Food of Asia. Yeah. We've had some experiences with these. Now there's some not, but some yes. Yeah, yeah, we have some firsthand experience for you on a lot of these actually. And if you have other ones, there are a lot. Yeah, there's, Asia has some wacky food, man. So there are a lot. These are the ten that we thought were the most interesting and stuff that we know about a little bit as well. Yeah, um, we looked at a lot of weird food. There's obviously a lot of weird food all over the world, but Asia, we know from our experience, definitely has some weird stuff. Oh yeah. Now. We want to preface this by saying we didn't really include all the weird stuff of China into yeah. this list. No, we didn't. We maybe some, but I don't. I'm not sure. But there are, there's a lot in China. Yeah, because you got stuff there like them eating dog yeah. and eating all this weird stuff. We didn't want to include on the list, so yeah. we've narrowed it down to some other stuff. Yeah, some stuff that we like. Um, what? What? I mean, so the first one we're talking about is uh, Beilut, and Beilut is. Uh, Beilut. Balut. 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 Balut is uh, from the Philippines. And what is it? Like a, a ferment, unfermented egg or a fermented egg? Or? No, 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 it's no. There's no fermenting. It's a, um, it's an egg embryo that's uh, ah. about halfway developed. Okay. And then they hard boil it. Sure. Okay. So a hard boiled egg, you have the egg yolk. You would boil it. You pull out an egg. It's a nice uh, yeah. white rubbery feeling egg with right. a yolky little... Yellow inside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balut is uh, the embryo develops up about halfway, so you have little bones in there. You have yeah. the beak. You can yeah. see little and eyeballs. Bird, yeah. the, the development of the feathers. And then they hard-boil that, and then so when you eat that, you're eating a hard-boiled egg, but you're getting all the crunchy bones and uh, development of the bird. Right, and it's also like you're sitting on a beautiful beach in the philippines laid back maybe a cold beer in your hand and they're walking around with a styrofoam cooler selling these eggs for you know 10 pesos or whatever and yeah i mean it's i i have personally never tried one have you i've tried one but no i don't eat them no yeah. i mean it's like you know it's a little bit more of a mental thing i think a lot of these things on our list yeah. a lot of it is mental. i mean i've seen them being sold you know everywhere in the philippines so i know you know they are around and they're Oh, yeah. A real, real thing. I'm sure if you were blindfolded and someone cut it up for you and said, here, try this, you would say, oh, it tastes like hard-boiled right. egg. It's a little crunchy. What, what's that other thing in there? And they'd say, oh, that's the bird. That's the bird. That's the feathers and right, shit. Right, so right. Uh, then you might not be enjoying it. But I think on a taste level, that's kind of what you're sure, getting. You know, sure. it's yeah. not too crazy. But there is the mental psychological aspect of with a lot of these foods, right? Not yeah. wanting to eat that. Exactly. And I'm one of those people. I'm sorry, Philippines. I love you, but I don't love your balut. Yeah, I love the Philippines. Okay, there's another one from the Philippines that we're going to cover. I have tried this one too, and it is called the uh, bird's nest. Okay, bird's nest is they. It's in a very expensive little uh, delicacy. Yep. They take the saliva. These swift, these uh, swift birds in the part of the Philippines. They create their nest by spitting up this. Uh, Saliva. Saliva. Yeah. It's, and it's it comes up and it kind of forms up and it gets hard and they make their little nest. They make a little bird's nest out of this stuff. And it's uh, very expensive. It's very hard to get because you have to climb way up in these caves to get it. And they make this soup out of it. Mm -hmm. The Chinese really love it. Um, I had a Russian TV show. I used to have a restaurant in the Philippines. And we had a Russian reality show come to El Nido where I was living and they wanted to try it. So there's a, hey, can you help us get this stuff? Called up a few people I knew. I was able to get the bird's nest. And then, uh, yeah, we arranged it at my restaurant. They came in. We made a little bit of the soup for them. They tried it on the stuff. So, you know, it's a, it's a lot more hype than it is. I can imagine. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine. It, you're not really getting any taste. It's not something like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Now I see why everybody wants to drink this soup. Right. It's just, um, it's got some powers to it. You know, it's got some health benefit to it. And it's just very highly sought after because it's so hard to get. Mm -hmm. So it's something for kind of like the rich people. Sure. It's like when you eat caviar. Uh, caviar. 
but now you're going to eat bird throw up. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Enjoy that. Yeah. So that's called Bird's Nest. That's out of the Philippines as well. Um, don't recommend that. And actually, you probably aren't going to find that. It's very hard to find. Yeah. Um, don't even waste your time with that one. All right, the next one's on our list, though. You're going to definitely be able to find all of these. They are in different parts of Asia, and they are waiting for you to eat them. Yes, they are. Okay. Um, should we knock a few Taiwan ones out yeah, real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got a couple off the Taiwan list. So yeah. these are ones that we've experienced here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. You're going to experience them with us right now, too. Number one, it's not too weird, but it's just it's kind of like the stereotypical um, – Weird food of the night market. Stinky tofu. Oh, yeah. It's a Taiwanese classic. Okay. Stinky tofu is those two words exactly. It's tofu that smells very bad and it's stinky. It smells, it smells bad. It yeah. smells very bad. Yeah. Now, when you're walking through the markets and stuff, you definitely know when you're around a stall selling stinky yeah, tofu. Yeah. I mean, if it's your... Like, for us now, I mean, we're used to it at this point. But if you're, you know, we've had family or friends that come visit and that smell hits you for the first time, like, it's rank, man. It's like, what the fuck is that what's what died yeah what, what did that what the hell is in it it's a mix of combo and spices and stuff yeah right? yeah it's like some there's like some clay some corn husk and yeah yeah it's a bunch chili of, garlic sauce or you eat it with chili and yeah, garlic sauce yeah um so it's like kind of like a square cubey looking piece of tofu and then you eat off of that yeah. a lot of times they cook it with the uh real spicy soup uh and they use the pig's blood yeah and you can have it fried or not fried uh fried is more manageable yeah it's more i mean it's fried so it's like it's easier for me to personally to stomach uh the other stuff i do not care for and i think on this one it's a little bit better because essentially you still are just eating uh, bean curd. You're eating yeah. stinky yeah. bean curd. Some of these other ones, like I said, you're eating a half-developed bird. Yeah. You're eating a live octopus. You're eating bugs and insects. Like There's a lot of that stuff that you mentally might not want to wrap your head around. Right. Stinky tofu, it's the smell that gets you. It's not such a mental thing. If you can get past the smell, you're in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so exactly. uh, check that out. You can eat that in Taiwan, in the night markets. You can find it everywhere. Uh, the other one that made our list from Taiwan is kind of discontinued now. You can't find it anymore. It's snake's blood soup. Yep, snake's blood soup. There used to be a famous night market here in Taipei City uh, near the Longshan Temple, and it was called Snake Alley. Yep. So you had one alley in this market that they sold uh, a bunch of snakes. You could go there and buy snake blood. Yeah, the market is still there. The snake, the snake situation is not. Exactly. Yeah. You, yeah, you used to be able to buy, uh, you could do shots of like snake bile, uh, snake blood, and like a, not snake venom, but some sort of, you know, thing like that. And yeah, you just take three sh snake alcohol or whatever. You take three so shots of that with the, you know, bartender, or the snake guy or whatever. And yeah. Yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. Like, you know, they'd have the snakes on display and, you know. Yeah, and when you used to go to the restaurant, you'd see the boss. I mean, his fingers look yeah. like this. Mangled, you, you know. know? Have, yeah. Out of 10 fingers, I think he had about like 4.25 fingers. Yeah. You know, every yeah. finger was like nubbed, and you could see where cobras had bit him, and he had to get his finger amputated. Yeah. Uh, they are cobras, too. Like, when you walk through the market, you'll see them have the cobra right there on the table and kind of playing with it, and yeah. it's, you know, all perked up with its hood up. And they just stopped this semi recently. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, since, I mean, I've been here about eight years. It's been, when I was here, it was still going on. Yep. So within the last maybe four or something years, they've, they've stopped. Yeah. And I think it's one of those things uh, on the humane animal yeah. humanity type thing, yeah. but also people just didn't want to do it. Yeah. You know, like yeah. the new generation, they want to go. It's more of an old school thing, I think. They want to go catch Pokemons yeah. and uh, do TikTok dances. They don't yeah. want to go to the night market and drink snake venom and snake blood. Yep. Agreed. Um, I'm sure somewhere in Asia, they're still selling snake blood. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Just not in Taiwan. Nope. But that did make our list for yeah, weird it's, food. It's definitely interesting. So we got two from the Philippines, Balut and Bird's Nest. We got two from Taiwan, Stinky Tofu, Snake's Blood. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we move on, we forgot uh, the, the, uh, the animal blood of Taiwan. Okay. Yeah, we're going to throw that back in. Rewind. Uh, coagulated animal blood. Most 
uh, popular is the pig's blood. Pig's blood cake, yeah. Okay. You have pig's blood and you also have duck blood. Yep. Okay. Yep. What happens there is they take the blood and they make like a jelly out of it. So you get kind of this soft tofu jelly textured piece of coagulated blood. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Kind of, it's actually, some of them kind of reminds me of like a little sponge or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you've ever made jello at home where you mix it up and you freeze it and afterwards it kind of gets all jello-y and uh, soft yeah. like that. That's what you're getting, but it's made with blood. Yeah, and you know what? It's actually, I mean, like, yeah, it's called pig's blood cake, but you're not eating it and you're not like, ooh, that tastes like blood. It just tastes like, I don't, I actually don't really enjoy it very much, but. No. You know. Well, in a lot of these Asian dishes, uh, the people eat them for the health benefit yeah, they have. Yeah. Western people, you hear a lot of this stuff and you're like, hell no, I'm right. not eating that. Yeah. Asian people and Asian cuisine, they'll eat a lot of this stuff for the health benefits. So, for example, when you eat the eye of a fish, that's good for your eyes. Right. When you eat the intestines of an animal, that's good for your intestines and your digestive tract. Okay. When you eat chicken feet that's got cartilage that's good for your skin and your cartilage yeah so. and, but if you're ordering you know pig's blood here in taiwan you can go to a lot of restaurants and get it right like it's not like this is something that it's like the snake's blood right like you're not gonna find that everywhere not anymore but like uh pig's blood cake you can get it a lot of places yeah yeah you can it's out there uh you can have my portion if you ever uh, are yeah. interested in that i'll give you all of mine yeah um Okay, now we're going to fly over to Japan. Japan's got some weird ones. Yeah. You know what Japan loves to eat? They love to eat the balls yeah, of they, fish. They like testes. They love those testes, yeah, boy. They yeah, they do. Two of the things on the list are the <laughs> testicles yeah, of sea creatures. Yeah, both the ones we found were balls. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so first one is called shirako. Yep. Okay, shirako is male codfish sperm sack. Yep. Let me go ahead and rewind that for you. It might have been hard to digest. Male codfish sperm sack. Yeah, and uh, you check out a picture of that. It looked they're little white things. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know, man. They're just little, yeah, little white things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, they come, and it's very expensive. It's very, uh, very highly it's like sought delicacy, after. Yeah, yeah. It does not look enticing at all yeah. but it's out there yeah it looks like you get it at like a sushi kind of place or a raw you know seafood sort of place right yeah exactly yeah uh another one in japan that is some balls is called uni yep uni is sea urchin balls yeah now i have had this okay <laughs> Uh, I had some DJ shows out there a few years ago, and uh, the promoter, she took me out to the restaurant. We went to this nice high-end Japanese restaurant. And you, in Japanese culture, you have to show respect, and you have to accept gifts when people give them to you. So we go to this nice restaurant, and they order me this expensive sea urchin, and you see them pop it open, and you're looking in it. It's all orange, and it's a sea urchin. Did you, eat, did you, eat, it? Did you eat it before you knew? No, that I, it was balls. Or you? They told you it was balls, and then you ate it. No, they just said here. Yeah, have this. So you ate it first. Yeah, you just don't yeah, ask questions. Well, exactly. Right. And what'd you think? I mean, I washed it down with the sake real quick. <laughs> I tell you that much. You yeah, know, it's yeah, just yeah. I don't like that texture sure, and taste. Sure, sure. I don't li really like raw oysters and uh, stuff like that. So okay. it it is that one's a very mental thing too, man. It's not very tasty. Um, you have to really like that sort of seafood palette yeah. of that weird yeah. seafood um, type stuff. Yeah, I was just wondering if, like, you ate it and you're like, oh, that's pretty good. And then they're like, oh, that was, you know, sea oh, urchin no, balls. No, no, then you're no. like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> no, yeah. dude, no. They, they let me know. They didn't tell me it was sea urchin balls. but They, they just, just go, sea urchin. They just go here and right. they open it up and you just have to eat yeah, the whole fucking exactly. thing. Exactly. Um, sure. I, I guess the balls are in there somewhere. I don't really know. Yeah. I didn't get specifically served the sea urchin balls, but... With the sea urchin, yes, they pop it open, bring it, and you eat out all the meat and mm -hmm. maybe all the balls, too. Yep, probably. Okay, so those are in Japan, and do we have any more in Japan? I don't think, I don't so. think so. Oh, yeah, we did. We had the tuna eyeball. Yeah, tuna eyeball. Tuna eyeball. Yeah. Tuna, uh, as you're probably aware of, is a very big thing in Japan. Yeah. Some of these tunas that uh, they catch can sell for a million dollars. Oh, yeah. You know, the perfect healthy tuna that all these sushi and sashimi restaurants can get, they'll pay high and high dollar for this meat. Oh, yeah. They also pay high dollar for this tuna eyeball. Yep. 
Okay. Yep. And it's exactly what you think. It's yeah, a I mean, big tuna eyeball, and you just eat the eyeball. Yeah, I mean, they prepare it in a bunch of different ways. I think that you could fry it, eat it raw, stew it, or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's really, the same. There's really no tricks to it. Yeah, there's really no tricks to it's it. The, it's the uh, Some seasoning and some spice and some sauce and uh, a yep. tuna eyeball. Yep. Okay? Yep. So if you're going to Japan, you can eat some balls, and you can eat some eyeballs. Yes, you can. Go to Japan. Okay, um, right next to Japan, their neighbors, the Koreans, mm -hmm. you know, they mm -hmm. didn't come up short in this category either. They got they some weird, it. funky stuff as well. Yes, they do. So, out of all the list, I think this is the one I like the least. If I had to try them all, this is probably the one I would go to last. Yeah, this one irks you a little bit, huh? Yeah. Okay, this one's called San Sanakji. Sanakji. Sanakji, yep. Okay. Sanakji is the live tentacles of octopus. Yep. Okay. We're going to throw a video on for you right now so you can see this happening while we're talking about it. Basically, yeah, they take these little small octopus, pull them out, chop their tentacles off, and the tentacles are all squiggling and wiggling and worming around, and they throw a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of sauce on them, and you eat them as they're live and moving around. Yep. I, I mean, that's it. Yeah, you can is, see on the screen. That's this is exactly, exactly what's going on. Yeah, we also saw some videos of people eating live baby octopuses as well. Yeah, now we that, decided not to do that necessarily. That's weird, man. We didn't get the term for that. Uh, if you know the term for eating the full uh, live octopus in Korea, let us know in the comments. Uh, we've seen the video. That is a fight for death basically because you have level, this little uh, octopus you throw it in your mouth and as you're chewing on it and trying to eat it it's fighting for its life too so yeah. it starts to uh, stick to your throat and the yeah, inside your esophagus, of your esophagus yeah. and it'll start to like uh, I've seen videos of these people where it's like you see their face getting all red and like eyes watering up because they can't breathe yeah. as this thing is like trying I to mean, like I, I just don't see the like fulfillment in that like what like what what makes you want to do that man i don't know man so that is octopus eating in korea check that out we just showed you the video um the tentacles is called sanakji and then you can have the whole thing uh as well while you're down there yep um getting out of korea we have a few more for you these are just in general southeast asian ones these aren't the weirdest of the weird but they don't really sell this stuff in the West. No. Uh, you got tarantula. Yeah. Fried tarantula. Fried tarantula. That's in Cambodia. I think they just, yeah, fry it, throw some sugar or garlic on that. and Yep. That's it. Eat it. So if you like fried chicken, yeah. go ahead and give fried tarantula yeah, a spin. Yeah. yeah. Um, they love the bugs and insects over there, yeah, too, Yeah, man. In, I mean, in Thailand, uh, I'm sure they have it, like, also in Cambodia, Malaysia, maybe a lot of those places. Like, I've had... Uh, Fried grasshopper, cricket, scorpion, like on a skewer in Thailand. And uh, yeah, that's a thing. It's, you know. Yeah. And it's just, it's, it's not even that bad. It's just like a crunchy thing. You just eat it and you're not like, ew, that was gross. But you're not like, ooh, that was good. You're just like, okay, I just ate a grasshopper. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, it's uh, like we said, it's a lot of mental uh, hurdles yeah. that you have to overcome to get this stuff into your body. But yeah. if you can do it, there's a lot of weird stuff in Asia waiting for you. Yeah. You can check that out yeah. and uh, have some fun while you're in Asia. Yep.